Hey guys, Antonolog here, and one of the myths that I hear a lot of times is that you need a fast SD card to shoot 4K video. And while it is nice to have a fast SD card, is it really necessary? So to test this, I'll be using three different SD cards, a Kingston card rated at 30 megabits per second, a PNY card rated at 90 megabits per second, and finally, a Lexa card rated at 300 megabits per second. Now these numbers don't really mean anything to us because those are the read speeds and we're specifically looking at write speeds because you're writing information to the SD card when you're recording video. So I ran a crystal disk mark benchmark of the write speeds of all three SD cards and these are the results that I got. For the Kingston card, I got 20 megabits per second write speed. For the PNY card, I got 35 megabits per second write speeds. And finally, for the and finally for the Lexar card, I got 45 megabits per second write speed. So really not quite as advertised, but it still works. But benchmarks really don't tell us anything, and I resorted to real-world performance tests. And when I was transferring actual 4K footage to each of the SD cards, the read and write speeds were about the same. I got 20 megabits per second write speed on the Kingston card and a 35 megabits per second speed on the PNY card, which is basically the same as what I saw in the benchmarks. However, for the Lexar card, I got a way higher 200 megabits per second write speed, and I would definitely trust these real world tests more than the benchmarks. So the next test would be just to record 4K footage and see if there are any interruptions or any stoppages due to the slowness of the SD cards. And I'm happy to report that there were none, except for this one time where I was using a SanDisk 16 gigabyte SD card. And I know that I didn't include this in those three SD cards that I talked about before, but the only reason I was using that one was because I was recording B-roll of those three SD cards. And at around 15 seconds in, the camera stopped recording and notified me that the SD card was way too slow to be capturing 4K footage and it actually stopped the recording. And I've done that multiple times and I can't record f further than around 10 to 20 seconds. And when I popped it in to test out the write speed, it was about 10 megabits per second. So 10 megabits per second is too slow for 4K recording, but um, 20 megabits per second on the Kingston card works just fine and anything above that obviously So any of those three cards I mentioned in the beginning of the video will work with 4k recording So next I did a test of how fast this could take photos I switched the camera to raw and I also made it in burst mode So that when I hold down the shutter button it would just keep taking photos as fast as it could transfer to the SD card So I recorded the shutter sound and every time you see a spike in the audio that is when it takes a picture. And I loaded them all into Audacity so you could see visually how fast the pictures were being taken. And as you can see, in the faster cars, there were less of a gap between photos, and in the slower cars, there was more of a gap in between photos. And that beginning part where you see a cluster of photos all at the same speed, that is called the camera's buffer, and that is not taken into account in my testing because it is all the same on all three SD cards because of the camera's inbuilt memory. So as you can see in these tests, the Kingston card took 10 photos in 15 seconds, not including the buffer. The PNY card took 17 photos in 15 seconds, not including the buffer. And finally, the Lexar card took 23 photos in 15 seconds, not including the buffer once again. So you can see there definitely is a very big difference, and this will definitely impact you if you're taking sports photos or really just anything really fast and fast paced. So for the last test, I transferred 20.5 gigabytes of 4K footage from my SD card to the SSD on my computer. But there really wasn't a difference in this case, and that was because something in the computer was bottlenecking it. I have a feeling it's Windows, but I'm not quite sure, and be sure to correct me in the comments um, if I'm not correct. But I tried it on different SD cards, I tried it using multiple SD card readers, I tried it on different uh, computers, and I also tried it on different drives, hard drives, SSDs. I tried pretty much anything, and they were all capped at 90 megabits per second transferring to the computer. So I really couldn't come up with a conclusive test. But if you're using a Windows computer, then you'll be capped at 90 megabits per second 
for all three SD cards, which means even if you buy the slowest Kingston one, you will still have the 90 megabits per second transfer rate and 20.5 gigabytes of 4K footage will still take you around four minutes to transfer into your SSD. So in conclusion, here's what I break down what SD card to buy. If you're just shooting 4K video or even 1080p for that matter, you can go with the Kingston card or anything that has a 20 megabits per second write speed or above. And that will get you smooth 4K recording, uh, even 1080p, and pretty much no problems at all recording 4K and no speed loss um, between these and the higher end cards from Lexar per se. So the Kingston card is the way to go. However, if you are shooting photos, for example, sports, and you need that really high burst rate, then you will want to go with a super fast SD card so you can get as many shots in as possible in that limited time range. So you will want to go with a Lexar fast SD card. But finally, if you're like me and you want nothing but the best regardless of price, then the Lexar 2000 Professional is for you. And it's just a very great SD card. It's fast, reliable, and had no problems with it. And overall, I just really like this SD card. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, tell me why in the comments below and tell me how I could fix it so that you would like it. Um, also, subscribe for more content like this. Um, if you like this kind of video, be sure to tell me why in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.